Hey guys, and welcome back to the only channel bringing you BMAT tips and tricks to make it through the schoolhouse. I believe congratulations are in order. Good work on knocking out that day eight PC. Today marks a special day. You've made it halfway through course 101, but there's still work to be done. Today in class, you learned about AC or alternating current fundamentals, AC waveform measurement, and non-sinusoidal waveforms. A general understanding of AC theory is important for the correct diagnosis and repair of electrical circuits. In order to diagnose an AC circuit, we need to know what AC or alternating current is. Glad you asked. AC or alternating current is an electrical current that reverses its direction many times per second at regular intervals. The fundamental or basic AC waveform is a sine wave. Below in the graph, you can see starting on the left and moving right, amplitude increases from zero degrees to 90 degrees where the maximum positive voltage will be seen. The wave then falls to zero volts at 180 degrees where it will reverse its polarity and decrease to the maximum negative voltage at 270 degrees. The waveform then returns to the zero degree line. The changes occur in a repeating pattern based on the frequency of the circuit. What is frequency you're thinking? Well, let me show you. An AC sine wave is one complete cycle and a cycle is one revolution. Cycles per second equals revolutions per second, which equals Hertz. Each cycle contains one positive alternation and one negative alternation. Frequency is measured in Hertz. Now there are three values we should be concerned with, period, frequency, and wavelength. Each of these can be calculated given at least one value. Let's start with period. Given a frequency of 60 Hertz, calculate the period. We can use the formula T or time equals one over frequency. This can be done very easily in your calculator. Try it now. Punch in 60, then press the X minus one button and then equals. This should give you a value of 16.66 milliseconds. Now, if you're given time and asked to calculate frequency, it's one over time. Let's practice. Given a time of 200 microseconds, calculate the frequency. In your calculator, type 200 micro X minus one equals, and you should get five kilohertz. Too easy, right? Moving on to wavelength. Wavelength is the distance from the beginning to end of one complete cycle. The unit of measure is in meters, and to calculate wavelength, the formula can be located in table six of your formula sheet. 300 meg divided by the frequency will give us the distance or wavelength of the waveform. This brings us to phase relationships. Phase angles can be identified by comparing the waveform start point. In the first example, wave A leads wave B by 90 degrees. It could also be said that wave B lags wave A by 90 degrees. In the second example, the phase difference is 180 degrees. In the third example, the waveforms are in phase. AC measurements can be measured using two pieces of equipment. The first being a multimeter, which you've already worked with. However, AC measurements using a multimeter are measured in volts RMS. An oscope or oscilloscope can also be used to see the actual waveform and perform measurements. These values will be in volts peak or volts peak to peak. Now to identify the different types of AC voltage measurements. Peak to peak is measured from the maximum positive peak to the maximum negative peak. This is shown by our red arrows. Peak voltage is measured from the zero baseline to the maximum positive or maximum negative peak, shown by the green arrow. Volts RMS is an AC amplitude that produces the same power effect as a DC current and voltage. This is 70% of the peak voltage. If you remember when we talked about AC measurements, this is what your multimeter measures in. Now the last AC measurement is volts average, which is 63.7% of the peak voltage. Since we can measure our waveform amplitude, let's move on to non-sinusoidal waveforms. Harmonic waveforms are multiples of the fundamental waveform and are utilized in shaping how the wave looks. They are produced by combining a fundamental frequency with one or more harmonics. Evens are an even number of multiples, whereas odds have an odd number of multiples. Utilize the t-chart below to calculate. Insert the values given and solve for the missing variable. As you learned from lecture today, there are many different wave types that can be generated. Let's take a look at a few. AC square waves are produced by combining a fundamental frequency and odd harmonics and can be identified by their instantaneous rise or fall. Triangle waves are produced by combining a fundamental frequency and even harmonics. These are identified by a linear rise and fall of the waveform. AC sawtooth or ramp waveforms are produced when combining a fundamental frequency with even and odd harmonics and can be identified by a linear rise and instantaneous fall. 
Alrighty guys, that wraps up our rewind for day eight and nine. Today we covered AC fundamentals and measurement, and then we took a peek at non-sinusoidal waveforms. And as always, stay classy and keep your head up.